This morning, income tax relief cuts worth billions to start this week. What else we can expect from tonight's federal budget? COVID cluster at the White House. President Trump's press secretary tests positive. Back to school at last. The surprise new plan for Victorian students. And George Pell's Roman rival in a Vatican scandal. Claims of bribery and corruption. This is 7 News with Jody Spears. Good morning. The Treasurer will tonight deliver the federal budget, which has been billed as the most important since World War II. Let's go live now to political reporter Olivia Leeming, who's in Canberra. Good morning, Olivia. The budget will be all about creating jobs and beating the recession. Good morning, Jodie. Yes, and trying to prevent a whole generation of young people from falling into a vicious cycle of long-term unemployment. The budget set to include a direct wage subsidy for bosses who hire someone who's out of work and under age 35. That's in addition to subsidies already announced for 100,000 new apprentices and trainees. Tonight's plan, designed to create jobs, drive investment through incentives for business and funnel more cash to households, bringing forward the second stage of income tax cuts by two years. They'll be backdated to July to hit pay packets immediately. So anyone earning between $45,000 and $80,000 will receive $1,100 on $100,000, $1,700 and $120,000, nearly $2,600. The changes to tax thresholds will also increase the 19% ban to $45,000, 32.5% to $120,000, squeezing the 37 7% range and 45 remaining above $180,000. Now there'll be no change to stage three of the tax cuts favouring higher income earners. That's still four years off. But pensioners also set to receive two $250 payments before and after Christmas to fuel spending and help revive the economy. Jody. OK, Olivia, thank you. US President Donald Trump's press secretary, Kayleigh McEnany, and two other staff members have tested positive for COVID as the White House cluster grows. Despite the virus spreading there, the president could return to Washington, D.C. today if he's released from Walter Reed Hospital. We'll have all the details live from the US a little later in this bulletin. In a surprise announcement, all school students in Melbourne will return to face-to-face -face learning this month. Year 7s will join primary school students back in the classroom from next Monday, while Years 8, 9 and 10 will return on October 26. They'll join VCE, VCAL and regional Victorian pupils who returned yesterday. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. This is certainty about getting back to face-to-face -to -face teaching, uh, which is really important for all of our students. While case numbers continue to track in the right direction, Victorians are being warned the state may not reach its target to get out of lockdown as planned. One cluster of concern to health authorities is an outbreak from a Chadston butcher shop which has spread across 15 suburbs and into regional Victoria. It's now been linked to 24 cases. Seven News can reveal one of those cases had their home robbed last week. There are now fears the four female suspects may be spreading the virus through the community. Meantime, a warning has been issued for shoppers who visited these stores on the following dates to monitor for symptoms and to get tested if they develop. Drinking and dining on footpaths in Sydney could soon be allowed again, with the New South Wales government set to announce some relief for the hospitality industry. News Corp reports venues in the Rocks will be able to expand into alfresco dining by October 26. It's expected the initiative will be rolled out to other areas by the end of the year. While restaurants are opening up, there are fears beaches will have to close this summer. Thousands flocked to the water in Sydney yesterday as temperatures rose, leaving authorities on edge. Most beachgoers did adhere to social distancing rules, but there are concerns current COVID measures won't stop people from crowding the city's beaches in summer. The inquest into the disappearance of William Tyrrell resumes in Sydney today. The three-year-old vanished from his foster grandparents' home at Kendall on the New South Wales mid-north coast in September 2014. The hearing, which was adjourned in March due to the pandemic, will run for four days. 
A senior Catholic cardinal has denied using more than $1 million in Vatican funds to interfere with George Pell's sex abuse trial. It's claimed Italian Cardinal Giovanni Becciu used the stolen money to bribe witnesses in a bid to secure a conviction against his Australian rival. Cardinal Pell, who recently returned to Rome, was freed after 18 months in jail when the High Court quashed his conviction in April. Cardinal Becciu was last month accused by the Vatican of misusing funds. It's not often a member of the British royal family asks to be followed by cameras, but Prince William has done just that for a new documentary about climate change. The future king claims he inherited a love for the outdoors and is dedicated to protecting the planet. He was born into a position of power, a position Prince William is now using to call for action against climate change. You suddenly realise, you know, those extreme events are going to happen more and more in the future. In a new documentary, the royal warns climate change is a threat for everyone, everywhere. Even low-lying Sandringham Estate, where both he and his grandmother, the Queen, have homes. When sea levels rise, it will stay. And you'll lose the wildlife habitats here, you'd lose the farming, you'd lose the communities. It's in everyone's interest that we protect these sorts of areas. We have to get on top of the climate change issue. By speaking out, he follows in the footsteps of his father, Prince Charles, who spent years warning about the impact humans are having on the environment while his grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh, raised similar concerns back in 1971. This is what makes conservation such an absolutely vital issue, is that it's now or never. Half a century later, his grandson says more needs to be done. A tour of melting glaciers in Pakistan with wife Kate last year is proof, he says, climate change is real. What is going on here is climate change. And we'd love to come and show our children environments yeah. like this. So a passion William inherited from his father and grandfather may be passed to his own children. Angela Cox, 7 News. A quick check of sport now and St Kilda are likely to appeal Ben Long's suspension after his one-game ban for a high bump on Jack McRae was upheld by the AFL Tribunal. If unsuccessful, Long will miss Friday's semi-final against Richmond. Cat skipper Joel Selwood will test out his finger on Friday after surgery. I think it would just be uh, movement, um, feel good. It's like it's feeling really good at the moment. Geelong take on Collingwood in Saturday's semi. Both games are live and free on seven. Novak Djokovic has hit another line judge almost a month to the day since he was kicked out of the US Open. Up against Karen Kachanov in the fourth round of the French Open, Djokovic... Unlike the US Open, the world number one wasn't disqualified and went on to win in straight sets. Stefanos Tsitsipas will join him in the quarterfinals after a straight sets win over Grigor Dimitrov. Checking Tuesday's weather now, a mostly sunny day for Brisbane, heading for a top of 27 degrees. Sydney 22 and cloudy, Canberra 19 with showers. Melbourne late showers heading for 14 degrees. Hobart mostly sunny and 16. Adelaide cloud increasing heading for 18 degrees. Perth mostly sunny and 23. And a possible thunderstorm a top of 33 for Darwin. He's a Hollywood hero, but Chris Hemsworth has another fight on his hands closer to home. Coming up, the devil's in the detail for this wildlife rescue mission. Plus the crawly critter that has scientists scratching their heads. Are you ready for this? It's the lolly day! This is it, the grand final. I'm so excited! The top ten will perform alongside some of the world's biggest stars. Usher, Blake, Shelton, One Republic. This is going to be epic. Who will win in a massive night of celebration? The grand final of America's Got Talent. Tonight, 7.30 on 7. And you've got trouble with the power of walking on her legs. If I wasn't around, she wouldn't be able to cope by herself. Simple as that. Caring can impact your emotional and physical resilience. Ensure you get the support you deserve. Construction at Riverina Apartments by Finbar is nearing completion. Don't miss your last chance to receive a 75% stamp duty rebate before November with these stylish apartments now selling from $330,000. Just a short walk from local bars and cafes, Optus Stadium, the Swan River and Crown Perth. Your new home in the heart of the Springs Precinct, Rivervale. Visit riverina.com.au. 
save your back and save your money at Ally Forklift. Grab yourself a heli semi-electric pallet truck for 900 bucks or a heli stacker from just four grand. Make life easier with heli and allied forklifts. Your local forklift company since 96. Choosing local produce like Carnarvon Sweeter Bananas is your guarantee of quality and freshness and helps support our local economy. That's why more West Aussies now look for the Buy West Eat Best logo when they go shopping. Authorised by the State Government, Perth. It's Retrovision's bonus bonus sale with big bonuses on selected purchases this month. Plus, get Retrovision's lowest price guarantee, 60-day price promise, and RAC members save an extra 5% every day. The bonus bonus sale, in-store or online at retrovision.com.au. The Great Wall Speed Run Out is on now at Phoenix Great Wall. From 1990, drive away the single cab diesel or dual cab petrol with five year 150k in warranty and three year roadside assist. If my deal doesn't tempt you, nothing will. And she's got trouble with the power of walking on her legs. If I wasn't around, she wouldn't be able to cope by herself. Simple as that. Caring can impact your emotional and physical resilience. Ensure you get the support you deserve. These are the stories we're following on early news this morning. Millions of Australians will receive a pay boost following tonight's federal budget, which will bring forward tax cuts. A COVID-infected Donald Trump is expected to leave hospital today and return to the White House, where a virus cluster continues to spread. The President's press secretary, the latest to test positive. Victorian students will be heading back to school earlier than planned, but there are fears Melbourne won't hit its lockdown targets. And the New South Wales government will soon allow alfresco dining on footpaths in parts of Sydney. A manhunt is underway in Geelong, southwest of Melbourne, after a man was shot dead overnight. Emergency services rushed to a home on Boundary Road in Whittington just before 7.30, where they found the victim suffering from a gunshot wound. He died at the scene. Police say they believe the victim knew his attacker. A man is fighting for his life after a random stabbing at a service station on the New South Wales Central Coast. Police are now searching for the attacker who fled the scene at Long Jetty. The 28-year-old victim was stabbed in the shoulder multiple times. He's best known for fighting bad guys in the Avengers franchise, but now Chris Hemsworth is helping fight for one of our country's most threatened mammals. With assistance from the Hollywood star, 11 Tasmanian devils are now calling New South Wales home. We've laid some traps yeah. to catch the devils yeah. and then we're going to release them out into the wild. A red carpet welcome for some history-making Tasmanian devils, among the first seen on mainland Australia in roughly 3,000 years. The devil is the key piece of the puzzle that we're putting back in. I'm going to get today or in the next couple of days to release. Yeah, 10 from in here, yeah. 20 in total. Playing sidekicks, Chris Hemsworth and partner Elsa Pataki helped to release the first of 60 devils into the Aussie Ark Wildlife Sanctuary at Barrington Tops in New South Wales. A semi-wild habitat ideal for breeding, key to bolstering the dwindling and partly diseased devil population in Tasmania. The thing about extinction is that it's permanent. And in our case, it's not an option. Tassie devils, as their name implies, create a sense of fear everywhere they go, which means they'll be helping to manage feral pests, including wild cats and foxes, allowing animals like bandicoots to bury their leaf litter, which makes bushfires less severe. It could be the only natural solution we have to protecting our natives. The devils will have to prove themselves before venturing outside the sanctuary, but with some heroic allies at hand, they may just have a fighting chance. Tom Saker, 7 News. A commercial building in Los Angeles has gone up in flames. Six businesses, including a fabric shop, have been destroyed. Fortunately, no one was inside when the blaze broke out and fire crews managed to stop the inferno from spreading. Italian rescue crews are battling torrential rains and strong winds as they continue to search for survivors following severe storms. Seven bodies have been found in the region straddling the French-Italian border. 21 people are still missing after flash flooding swept away roads and houses. Checking finance now, the Dow Jones is up, so is the Nasdaq. In London, the FTSE closed higher and Germany's DAX also rose. Closer to home, Japan's Nikkei closed higher, Hong Kong's Hang Seng rose, the All Lords and the ASX 200 both closed higher last week. 
On the commodities market, gold is trading at 1,915 US dollars an ounce. Oil is 41.5 US dollars a barrel. The Aussie dollar is buying just under 72 US cents, around 76 Japanese yen and $1.8 New Zealand. Most people only discover a bad smell when they take out their rubbish, but one scientist south of Sydney has stumbled across a new species of spider on a bin in her backyard. The blue-faced critter is understood to be part of the jumping spider family, but its unique colouring hasn't been seen before. It's been sent to Victoria to be studied and hasn't yet received a name. Coming up on 7 Early News, the White House cluster spreads. We're live to the US for the latest. And lifting off the Australian outback location set to become a launch site for NASA. That's next. You do something like radio for 20 years, then all of a sudden you're out of work. I lost my self-confidence and then this came along. Absolutely shredded my nuts. You think this is a joke? There's more to me than just silly, funny comedian. Are you OK? Yes, stop! I would never, ever have put you as a comedian. That doesn't say a lot about my comedy then, does it? SAS Australia starts Monday, October 19 on 7. Hit a hole in one for Telethon and you could win $100,000 for yourself. The Perrin Institute and Telethon are giving you the chance to ace 100k at the Perrin Institute hole-in-one day for Telethon. Perfect your swing at the Wembley Golf Complex driving range during the month of October for a chance to unearth a golden ball. Your ticket to tee off for $100,000. All proceeds go to Telethon. The Perrin Institute hole-in-one day for Telethon. Take you there. Another world is within reach. Visit Christmas Island, a natural wonder. If you're having trouble hearing, listen to the science, not the sales talk. Lions Hearing Clinics are part of Ear Science Institute Australia, our world renowned research centre right here in Perth. Our audiologists use the latest research findings in our clinics to assess your hearing and recommend treatments or devices based on your specific needs. If you're having trouble hearing, Lions Hearing Clinics are worth listening to. You have a thought. Most people ignore that thought. End story here. Or you could explore it, collaborate, feel welcome, find a quiet spot, find a loud spot, find your own spot. Be you. Oh. Form your own opinion. Get inspired by moments around you. Plan to make your plans come to life. And then change the whole world. Or some of the world. Or just your world. So don't ignore that thought. This is free thinking. Choosing local produce isn't just your guarantee of quality and freshness. It helps support Western Australia's economy which is good for all of us. Good choice. That's why more West Aussies now look for the Buy West Eat Best logo when they go shopping. Authorised by the State Government, Perth. New home, new look, new style. Add style and security by installing new style window roller shutters. Enjoy your alfresco by installing new style outdoor blinds. With huge savings across our entire range, now is the time to save. Hurry, sail in soon. You'll find a massive selection of pots of all shapes and sizes at John Cole's Nursery. Designs you're unlikely to see anywhere else, styles to suit any home, and quantity you'd expect from Perth's best pot wholesaler. You'll experience outstanding customer service and advice, plus you can buy at wholesale price without an AVN. We're professional nurserymen and stock a huge range of plants you'd expect at a wholesale nursery. Take a short trip down the freeway to John Cole's Nursery, exit Rowley Road. Making news this morning, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg will tonight hand down the nation's most important federal budget since the Second World War. Tax cuts and a cash payment for pensioners are among the most anticipated measures. A COVID cluster at the White House has spread to President Donald Trump's press secretary. Students in Victoria will return to face-to-face -face learning sooner than first planned, but there are concerns Melbourne isn't on schedule on its roadmap to recovery. And outdoor dining will soon be allowed in parts of Sydney under a New South Wales government hospitality plan. 
The White House coronavirus cluster has grown, with Donald Trump's press secretary the latest senior aide to test positive for COVID-19. Let's go live now to US Bureau Chief Ashley Mullaney at Walter Reed Hospital outside Washington, D.C. Ash, this latest development comes just as the president is expected to leave hospital. Good morning, Jody. Yeah, we're awaiting an update from the president's physician today as to whether he is well enough to be discharged back to the White House. He's been busy on Twitter this morning, a barrage of tweets urging people to get out and vote. If he is released, he will be returning to a White House in crisis, a growing hotbed of infection with the latest to test positive, his press secretary, Kayleigh McEnany. Uh, this a major blow to Donald Trump's campaign, this growing outbreak uh, of White House officials. Meanwhile, Joe Biden is out on the campaign trail today, saying he'll be happy to debate the president again if given the all clear by doctors. If the scientists say that it's safe and the distances are safe, then I think that's fine. I'll do whatever the experts say is the appropriate thing to do. This would be Donald Trump's worst nightmare, to be confined to a hospital or to the White House less than 30 days out from the election and to see Joe Biden out on the campaign trail. He will be hoping for some good news today and to be given the all-clear by doctors, but he remains on a cocktail of drugs, Jody. OK, Ash, thank you. Back home now, and Labor would win the Queensland election if it was held today, according to a new poll. The Courier-Mail's YouGov poll of 2,000 Queenslanders has Labor leading the LNP 52 to 48 on a two-party preferred basis. It puts the state's Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk on track to claim a third term. The election will be formally called this morning with a vote to be held at the end of the month. Police have made a public appeal in the search for a federal circuit court judge missing near bushland in Brisbane's west. Judge Guy Andrew, who was moved from Townsville to Brisbane last month due to conduct concerns, hasn't been seen in more than 24 hours. His car was found near Mount Cutha on Sunday afternoon. Seven news cameras have captured the moment a car rammed into seven parked cars in Perth. Yeah, just like a, a rocket ride. <laughs> it's understood the driver's accelerator jammed. No one was injured. The Northern Territory will soon launch NASA rockets with the space agency providing funds for the site's construction. The Arnhem Land base will be the first non-government facility in the world to launch NASA rockets. An initial $1 million has been provided with plans for the launches to commence next year. St Kilda are set to appeal Ben Long's one-game ban for a high hit on Bulldog Jack McRae after it was upheld by the AFL Tribunal. If unsuccessful, Long will miss Friday's semi-final against Richmond. Cat skipper Joel Selwood will test out his finger on Friday after surgery ahead of Saturday's semi against Collingwood. Both games are live and free on seven. Novak Djokovic has hit another line judge with a ball. In Kaylin Ponga could be the latest Queensland star to be ruled out of origin. The night star needs to make a call on whether to have shoulder surgery ahead of next month's series. The operation would likely keep him out of action for up to five months. Ponga could decide to play on through the injury, but risks making it worse. The Maroons are already missing a host of stars like David Fafita through injury and Valentine Holmes for Game 1 due to suspension. Queensland will make their first squad announcement today. Our women's one-day team are a win away from the record of 21 consecutive victories set by Ricky Ponting's Aussies in 2003. New Zealand made nine for 252 in Game 2 of the series in Brisbane. Meg Lanning anchored the side's biggest ever chase with an unbeaten century, bringing up her ton and retaining the Rose Bowl with a boundary. History beckons in Game 3 tomorrow. To be honest, we haven't spoken much about that record at all. It's, it's a bit in the media, but um, no, look, we're aware of it. Marcus Stoinis was lucky to avoid serious injury after a brutal beamer as he led Delhi to victory over Bangalore in the IPL. But nothing beats this this morning. Italian Luca Corbury crashed out of the Karting World Championship, so he ripped off his bumper bar and waited trackside to take his revenge. What is Luca Corbury playing at? 
Oh, Luca Corberry, what on earth is he doing? Corberry walked back to the pits, waited, then ambushed rival Paolo Ippolito and a wild brawl erupted. Next on 7 Early News, a closer look at how the weather's shaping up in your part of the country. As you're waking, know what's breaking. We begin with the latest on the coronavirus. There are other hot spots across Melbourne. The nation's most informed team. The travel bubble, how likely is that to happen? Every critical announcement. Queensland's border bubble has extended. Should residents here feel safe with that arrangement? Everything you need to know. This port's dispute is threatening Australia's medical supply. The moment we know it. Flames come within metres of some homes. The team Australia trusts are on Sunrise. Introducing the Miracle Chef Air Fryer Oven. The full oven that can air fry 75% more than traditional air fryers. What's the secret? Our stainless airflow racks and 1500 watts of rapid air technology fries food with a whirlwind of superheated air for that great crispy taste without all the added fat and calories. Air fried chicken strips, wings, and tasty sea salt curly fries. And all made with that amazing fried food taste without the guilt and up to 70% less calories from fat compared to deep frying. And here's exciting news. The Miracle Chef Air Fryer Oven is a chef quality air fryer, rotisserie and a food dehydrator all in one. It features a state of the art touch screen with 10 presets. With one touch, you can rotisserie, dehydrate, air fry, roast, bake, use it as a pizza oven, grill, toast and reheat. And all accessories are dishwasher safe, so clean up is a breeze. The Miracle Chef replaces over $1,500 in appliances. But you won't pay $1,500, not even $500. Call Global Shop Direct or go online now and you can get the Miracle Chef air fryer oven for the low price on your screen. But this deal gets even better. Call now and get bonus number one, the extra large rotating stainless mesh basket. Amazing for French fries and street nuts. Bonus number two, our stainless rotisserie spit. Perfect for restaurant style rotisserie chicken and bacon weaved stuffed turkey. Bonus number three, we're also including eight stainless skewers. Carve them table style or serve the whole skewer. Bonus number four, we'll also include our entire Miracle Chef air fryer oven library. All three books included with your order today. And Miracle Chef comes with Global Shop Direct's 30 day money back guarantee. You get everything you see here, all for this one incredible price. Don't miss out on this incredible TV offer. Order your Miracle Chef air fryer oven today. Want a quantity bathroom reno but can't spend a fortune? Go to Bathroom Warehouse. Want a huge range of vanities, toilets, tapware and more? Go to Bathroom Warehouse. Want to pay warehouse direct prices and save a bundle? Go to Bathroom Warehouse, 29 Hutton Street, Osborne Park. We Will Rock You, the smash hit musical by Queen and Ben Elton, is exploding onto the stage at Crown Theatre from October 30. Book now at Ticketmaster. Australian farmers have long favoured the kelpie when it comes to rounding up their sheep, but this little guy shows he can do the job just as well as the big boys. Frankie the mini dachshund works on the family property in western New South Wales. Despite his very small stature, Frankie is clearly an expert at handling the sheep and he looks like he loves his job too. Taking a look at the weather around the country now, a slow moving trough is generating warm winds to the north and east, as well as rain and storms nearby, mainly in the Northern Territory and in Northern South, South Australia. Moist easterly winds in eastern Queensland are causing a few showers. Brisk southerly winds in Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia and Southern WA are also bringing a few showers.
Around the capitals today, a mostly sunny day for Brisbane, heading for a top of 27 degrees. Sydney heading for 22, cloudy. Canberra 19 and showers. Melbourne late showers, a top of 14 degrees. Hobart mostly sunny and 16 today. Adelaide cloud increasing, heading for 18 degrees. Perth mostly sunny, 23 the top. And a possible thunderstorm for Darwin with a top of 33 degrees. And that's 7 Early News for this Tuesday, the 6th of October 2020. I'm Jodie Spears. Now it's time for Sunrise with Koshi and Sam. New details, budget day, huge tax cuts, pensioner handouts, business relief, the big spending plan to wake Australia from its COVID coma. Developing now, the virus spreads more Trump insiders infected. The White House riddled as the president demands a discharge. Happening today, election countdown, the Queensland government to enter caretaker mode as the state heads to the polls. This morning, the shock new prediction on who will win. New developments, Victoria's COVID milestone, every student back to school by the end of the month. Plus Royal Snub, the festive fallout as Harry and Meghan get to spend Christmas in California. And a music superstar Adam Lambert inside his life with Queen. It's Tuesday the 6th of October 2020. Across Australia, this is Sunrise with Koshi and Sam. Hello, thanks for joining us. Adam Lambert has one of the best gigs in music and he's our special guest this morning. Also coming up, Holiday savings, how to trim fat from your Christmas budget. Where to find the bargains right now? It's a Sunrise Special Report. Plus, handsome devil, he's a Hollywood hero, and now Chris Hemsworth is helping out some Australian wildlife. We'll see that soon. But let's get some news for you first. Here's Nat. Thanks, Sam. Good morning, everyone. The Treasurer will tonight deliver the federal budget, which has been billed as the most significant since World War II. Live now to 7 News political reporter Olivia Leeming. Olivia, the budget will be all about creating jobs and beating this recession. Yeah, and trying to rescue a generation of young people from long-term unemployment due to the pandemic. Tonight we will see wage subsidies for bosses who hire anyone under the age of 35 if they're out of work on welfare. A lifeline for up to 700,000 young Australians to boost jobs. There'll also be generous tax relief for households to drive spending. Stage two of the government's income tax cuts will be brought forward, backdated to July, to hit pay packets immediately. Anyone earning between $45 and $80,000 will receive $1,100. On $100,000, it'll be $1,700 and $120,000, nearly $2,600, the maximum payment. No changes, though, for Stage 3 of the tax cuts, favouring higher income earners. They are still four years away, though pensioners also set to benefit tonight, receiving two $250 payments before and after Christmas. As well, we'll see tax breaks for businesses and incentives to invest as Australia braces for record debt and a budget deficit of more than $210 billion. Tonight's plan prioritising job creation and getting more cash flowing to households to revive the economy. Nat? Thanks, Olivia. The White House coronavirus cluster has grown with Donald Trump's press secretary, the latest